welcome everyone to the channel. Once again, uh, here is where we will bring you candid reviews, uh, repair, DIYs, as well as diagnosis. So on the channel today, we want to talk about a topic that we've never spoken about before. So we've never spoken about how to maintain an automatic transmission and um, how CVT gearboxes work. So ideally, we want to show you how a CVT gearbox looks inside and uh, talk you through some of the things that go bad on a CVT transmission. So come with me. So at first we have the outer shell, which is just the housing of the gearbox. Uh, this whole thing looks like a drum. And then in it, now we have the CVT units. So how CVT works, as we explained on the channel before, uh, it works by a way of uh, uh, just having one pulley, a smaller pulley and a bigger pulley interconnected using a belt that keeps varying uh, from one position to the other, which makes it the varied, um, the continuous variable transmission. So for instance, uh, we have the bigger pulley here, this side of the bigger pulley and then this side of the smaller pulley that is normally mated on this shaft, like so. So this belt comes in between here, like so. So when you uh, put your car in drive or reverse, based on the um, throttle input, so we have a fork over here. We have a fork over here that you can see. So I can just do that. This fork here is shifted about using the transmission fluid. So pressure differences is what moves this fork about. And then this fork that moves about is what now moves the chain. Uh, based on the throttle input, based on the uh, traction, uh, let's say road conditions. Are you going uphill? Are you going downhill? Uh, how much is your throttle input? So this belt will keep varying uh, from one side to the other just to increase uh, the surface area uh, based on how much power is needed from the car. And that is how this thing is called um, continuous variable transmission because the gear ratios are not really defined. They are not actual gears like you'll find on a normal automatic car or when you find on a manual car. But the belt varies uh, based on different driving conditions. So today we have a good guy here that uh, works on these gearboxes. So you'll find him here. We've decided to start repairing some of the gearboxes because, um, yeah, let's say it's, it's a bit expensive to start replacing these gearboxes so if you can find someone who can fix them who can repair them for you repair components that is what can help you so Jakababa, welcome here uh, would you tell our viewers ideally what goes wrong in a cvt transmission okay most of the time in cvt most, most of the time uh most of when i remove say the chain or the valve body or the top shaft. So in so many cases on CVT gearbox in a rebu valve body sana sana. On a pata sometimes we can uphill, gari in angu, because gina in a chelewa palisha gear. On another case, on a pata gari palisi, palisi in a zakua on a stick on a gear one, but not shifting to other gears, simply because top shaft if let a shida. Sana sana juya valve body. So what you can do, if you have a, a CVT gearbox and it has a, a problem on uphill, you na kwanza shida valve body. Na uko na shida ni gari ya yendi aibalishi gear, you ni top shaft. So sana sana kwa CVT gearbox, na patanga zile bitu zina rebikanga ni bitu mbili, bitu tatu, sorry, bitu tatu. So zote wa zote chain one body or top shot. So, you know, case the CVT sana sana. Yeah, thank you. Um, just to sum it up, um, engineer Pa Mesema, mostly we have uh, three main issues on CVT gearboxes. The valve body itself, which is this component here. So this is the valve body. Uh, it's called the valve body because it has valves in it. Um, it carries solenoids and valves in it, like so, uh, that are the ones responsible for uh, actuating pressure through the valves. So the solenoids here are responsible for actuating pressure through the valves. So when fluid passes through 
those little channels, valves, and that's why this thing is called a valve body. It also doubles up to some other cars as the gearbox um, computer transmission control module because on some cars, uh, the transmission control module, which is a small component that controls the shifting, the gear ratios, uh, will be mounted um, to this uh, just to be able to be connected to the ECU, the main ECU, engine management system, uh, to be able to tell what gear to shift or what gear you in and such things. But then on some other cars like this Audi, and um, modern cars specifically, we normally have a new component that is called uh, TCM, specifically not like the valve body. So you may have a separate valve body, or probably you may have a valve body together with a TCM, a transmission control module that is separately mounted either on top of, uh, on top of the valve body or somewhere on the side of the transmission, but just not in the transmission entirely, but outside somewhere on the car that will now be able to control the gearbox functions and met it uh, together with the engine uh, management system. So ideally, to sum it up, the top shaft uh, responsible for the cars not uh, going uphill, then that is a problem with the top shaft that needs to be, reflect, uh, to be repaired or re replaced. So here's the top shaft, which is ideally mainly the main shaft that would carry the most of the torque. And then we have the bottom shaft uh, that will be responsible for just smooth uh, riding, coasting, going downhill. So where you do not have, um, you do not need a lot of power nor a lot of torque uh, to move the load. And then lastly, we have the chain. So when you have bad oil, oil that has been there for too long, if you have oil that has been there for too long, you will have issues with the chain. So this is the. CVT chain. So if your transmission has not been serviced, you have not changed the filters, you have not changed fluids, you get to a point that uh, this chain wears out or this chain expands due to uh, heat that is in the gearbox. So the gearbox oil also doubles up as the gearbox um, coolant. So when the oil is low or when the oil is worn out too much, uh, you will find the heat that is found in there would start um, uh, causing the belt to either expand or just to wear out uh, the belt is a chain as well uh, so it's chain made but um, it's more of a belt CVT belt CVT chain so this is what will expand and then you'll find your transmission start slips out of gear or slips uh, into gear so kind of you have some over revs and then the car will jack into gear or the car is in gear starts moving once you need more power put your foot down the car jumps out of gear this is normally the belt CVT belt has um, gone and um, simply in a nutshell that is how CVT transmissions are inside that is how they work and um, if you need use repair please reach out um, Ottoman Assonation uh, now we have an in-house guy um, who can be able to tear down your transmission and do some repairs on it before we can confirm to you that you understand and therefore it needs repair. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends.